Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Xenoblade Chronicle 3. We are, as you can see on the Ray Bell table land where we last left off. But in between the episodes we got a comment about there being more hero quests in the first area we've been to. So color me intrigued. So I want to go there today and check those out because side quest is one thing. Hero quests are another because they are always very, let's say, story heavy, and I really love that about those hero quests. And they give us more parties to fight with, making us uh, stronger in the process. So, what I want to do are two things. One, I want to check out the question marks we have in the first area, and the other one is I think it's time that we looked at our expansion pass. Uh, stuff because the last one is clear that it's just the extra story for after we complete the main game So that, that one we're gonna leave uh, As is but we still have the other three with the first one is just an adventurer support pack Which gives us some Heap of silver and golden coins to use Some nice accessories and clothing Pieces. That's the different colors of what we already have. So uh, I think this one is more than good to take. Yes. Received. Then we have the other two packages. Both give us a new hero, which in turn will give us new classes to uh, master. So I got the suggestion of why not act you activate it? One of the two you should be able to do. Because. If I understand correctly from reading this, uh, we will have a fresh quest line and at the end we get the new hero. So this one and the other one I will probably just activate. Because it's not that we are going to be forced into it. Because we still have to choose it. I'm hoping if we look in our quest uh, list we can see what kind of level it is in order to do the hero quest. And we're probably going to see that one of the two is probably a little bit too high for us at the moment. Good, alright. Let's see our quest list for the new two new hero quests we got from the side ah oh, nice there's an icon next to it that we know where it came from and as you can see one is level 43 and the other one is level 19 so this one we could potentially do if you can get there starting part way through chapter three so okay so this is still a little bit off where are we chapter wise is there any way for us to see that maybe through our save system ah yes yeah, so we can we can probably do uh this Good, so we have a potential of three, three hero quests, so plenty for us to do. So let's first uh, try to find the ones that are in-game, which means we have two uh, question marks here. It's the one over here and the one over here. So which one shall we do first? So let's pick this one. So this is going to an area that uh, I checked out in between the episodes. So, it might be. If not, we'll just uh, open up the new quest and put it down our list to, to do in a future one. And I uh, got there just by uh, checking out any location where I knew there was a wall we could climb with our new abilities. And I was technically hoping that there would be like a... Ooh. Is that where we are going? Hey, that's a supply drop, right? It is. So is it technically on the way? Somewhat. <laughs> All right, so we'll try to avoid the enemies. They are way below us, so hopefully low enough for them to not care about what we do. Hmm. 
I'm torn. <laughs> Let's go towards the supply drop and uh, that over there is probably a container. So I can always uh, go and pick it up at a later time. See you. Can we get there? <gasps> ah, and it's also close to the question mark. Perfect. Let's get this squared away quickly. Really? This is actually the first time we got a supply drop that's actually locked. Okay, didn't expect that. Doesn't mean we need another type of skill in order to open that. So, is it like a higher level container? Interesting. Hey, what's this thing? Hmm, no idea. Some kind of junk. Hey. Who's there? Turn it over. An old guy. Noah, this guy. Yeah, he means business. Hurry it up. And by it, you mean this? Why would we ever hand it over to some knuckle-headed chump like... <sighs> huh? Guys, weapons ready! A grey matter. Alright, I'm guessing uh, no more conversations. I'm at level 28. So I am barely higher than uh, he is. Oh, he's good. I wouldn't mind. Uh, a gunslinger. So basically he is almost exactly on the same level as the monsters we defeated in the other episode. Basically strong, so we have to just survive until we get to the point of our chain attack and just, just annihilate him. And hopefully as we do that he will be uh, willing to have a chat. Is good. Guy's got skills. I couldn't give an Arden's ass. He's gonna regret it. Guy needs a lesson. <laughs> Just to be sure, there's no chance we could talk this over. <laughs> Guess we can take that as a no then. Or is he leading us away from the two that was chasing us? Madman took a dive. Who in 
the world? That's impressive, gotta say. You lot, identify yourselves. Kavesi soldiers? Tell me, have you seen the man in the mask? We've been looking for him. Wait, they're with a bunch of Agnians. Must be those Ouroboros we've been hearing about. Traitors to the crown! Huh? Since when did we ever? Oh, you think you can talk your way out of a righteous beating? <laughs> Not today. There is no such thing really as a righteous okay, beating. Level 25, not even elite. Okay, this should, this should be over relatively quickly. <laughs> Don't want to get too arrogant, because usually when I get arrogant, I usually die. <laughs> As soon as they see our combined form, you think they just run away. Kind of ridiculous by this point. We learned something pretty interesting, though. Yeah, they said they'd been looking for the man we fought against earlier. I wonder what happened. If Kevez is after him, then maybe he wasn't our enemy after all. And his eyes did look old, so maybe he is uh, loose from the flame clocks as well, and learned to have a life that is extended beyond anything. So it's definitely interesting. I'll remind you, he did attack us, mate. Yes, that does make it hard to classify him as an ally. Some kind of deserter, perhaps? Hey, if he jumped in the river, he'll have been carried downstream. We could try and catch him at the bottom, figure out what's what. He may yet prove hostile, though. If he does, then we whack him. And if he doesn't, we listen to what he says. Great plan or what? I... Does that qualify as a plan to you? A plan takes forethought and planning. What you did is post hoc rationalize your own. <sighs> what do you think? Let's go and see. Definitely. Uh, following footsteps. In certain quests, characters will leave behind footprints that can be followed. Pay close attention to the ground and follow their lead. Yes. Can we actually jump down as well? Hmm. Uh, what what's the harm in trying, right? Because if he can do it, so can. Well, the question is, if we do do it, uh, <laughs> will we will we be able to survive? That's the question. I'm intrigued. the fastest way uh, to track a man is to follow the same way that he goes. Unless we know where the end is and then you just cut him off, but you know what I mean. Ooh, ooh. Sort of just in time. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good care of that. It is, and I wouldn't have gotten it if I took the safe route. So in the future, no more safe routes. <laughs> I'm always going to take the risk. Now at least the monkey is not uh, that close by. But there is a good chance that we might need to pass him. Let's hope we can find uh, our mystery man before that happens. 
Because I think the monkey is still way out of our league. We've been spotted. Are we? You know what? Eyes over here! Ever the paragon here. No flat! And of course, uh, with the combinations of attacks, once we reach a point that we have learned all uh, classes, of course we'll make a team that can continuously do the entire combo, or if we are on a story bit that is a bit too hard, but for now we can leave it as it is. Pretty clear footsteps, though. Hmm. Assume he's going into the right direction. There it is. Little lady, yeah. Let's just uh, take a quick side trip Whoa, until he passes. Right we don't want to attract his attention just yet. I want to at least be past level 80 for that. Does it mean, with the interruption in the footstep, that he's been jumping around and stuff? Uh, I'm thinking we are getting closer. I'd say he uh, got pretty far. It's pretty spry for an old guy. Oh, do you lose track because he went through the water? Oh, found something good here. <laughs> what do you reckon? Ooh, and normally I would fight you, but uh, I'm uh, a little bit sidetracked. Ooh, that, on the other hand. You can never go wrong with some ether. Yeah. Up to you. Yeah, we'll be back. We do want to try and do all the uh, challenge fights. <laughs> Did you also see uh, the soldiers and just said, uh, nope, let's go the other way. I think I see him. You're not getting away this time! I thought you might trap me down. But I didn't think you'd be so kind as to bring me my prize as well. What? Bit heedless of you, don't you think? Uroboros. Huh? Wait, how does he know about us? Yeah, fishy. What are you all about then? I don't think I need to answer that. There were Kavesi troops looking for you. Come on, throw us a bone here! Look, we want to talk. If you could just open up a bit. Okay. Let's start with names. Ours are... Don't need them. Stick to the point. The Kvesi are after you, right? If you tell us what that's about, we... You do what? Huh? It's nothing that concerns you. Right. So, if it did concern us, you'd answer. That's something. Are you our enemy? <sighs> Still keep him up? <laughs> no, I think he doesn't know whether or, or not to call us an enemy. If you stop prying, we'll have no reason for hostility. 
is. Says the guy who lashed out at us before. Yeah, not buying it. <laughs> oh, for spark's sake, use your snuffing words. Puny, chip. I hate people who won't say what they mean. Oh, this guy's flipping all my switches. Did you or did you not attack us just because you felt like it? Answer! It was just a warning. You neither need nor understand that thing that you have there. Don't you stick your necks where they don't belong. What, so you're going to attack us again to get your hands on it? I told you clearly. Stop prying, and we won't have to fight. So you need this thing, then? Well... So, does that mean you're... Wait. It seems you were followed. Followed? By who? Them again. Hmm. <laughs> they brought reinforcements. We found you! I knew you were in cahoots. What? Stop being wrong! Now look what you've got us into. This blunder is entirely on you. But I'll lend you clean up. Wipe them out. Hang on, Elevenis. This mother does nothing by halves. What are you mumbling now, traitors? Not that I care, actually. Get them! Fine. Does it mean we're losing our healer? Nope, he's still there. Not doing enough damage to be a threat. Hopefully we'll see that we are decent fighters and maybe that will gain us a little bit of trust. They sure are persistent. It might be wise not to linger. Agreed. It would be nice not to get wrapped up in any more scuffles. Uh, so why were those not after you anyway? Is it because of his sparkling personality? Ah, uh, perhaps so. Oh, so now you acknowledge it. You can hold on to that. You mean... That shard from earlier? So you don't need it after all? I never said that. But I can't be bothered trying to convince you. Right, because talking to people is just such a chore. Lance, to some people, definitely. <laughs> In time, you will discover its purpose. But if you were to abuse it, I may have to dispose of you. It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. I meant what I said. So now what? What will you do after this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like I'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her? Even if it puts soldiers on your trail? Naturally. Alright, well, that's the end of that then. Your life, your choices, man. <laughs> hey! What now? Don't die, you lot. Huh? <laughs> he wants the chart at some point. <laughs> 
If you need me, you can call me. I'll assist. Uh, that's rich coming from a guy that just tried to kill us. Well, you can best learn to trust the person by joining them in combat. It was a warning. Not a small test. What's this crap now? Honestly, I don't get this dude. I simply followed my friend's request. And your friend, that'd be who? When you say you'll help us, we can just take you at your word. Either way, I can't have the bearers of that thing running around unsupervised. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But hey, he's strong, so that's something. True. The desk count for something. That's an awfully kind offer there, mister, but we don't even know what to call you. About time we got a name, don't you think? <laughs> Whoa, hey, stop right there! Your name, Spock, you spill it! Yeah, or we're gonna make a name for you, and trust me, it's not gonna be flattering. Grey. Call me Grey. What was that guy's deal? Stuff if I know. Although he didn't look like a bad... Uh, I guess he kind of did look like a bad guy, huh? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> there does seem to be more to this story than we've seen so far. Just no fighting him again, please. So basically, this is part also of all the shards we've been finding? Maybe. And maybe at the point that we learn what the shards are for, and we have him with us as a partner, which he is probably now, will he come back and help us or let us know more would be intriguing yeah seconded punching his kind's not even all that satisfying gray huh <laughs> and i do wonder who his friend is the mysterious man gave you his name gray he also seems to know that no one co were ouroboros and ultimately offered them his help or <laughs> triangular shard if you have to call me something, hmm. call me Grey. Full Metal Jaguar. Of course, Uni. The one he connected with most. And considering this guy, that says a lot. <laughs> uh, full Metal Jaguar Roll Attacker. Uh, shots grow deadlier with each consecutive hit. Time uh, to art enemy attacks to rake up hits. Seems like a very interesting class. So happy uh, I got uh, pushed in this direction. Really appreciate it. Because those are the, the hints that I do not mind. Alright, new hero in our list. Uni is the one that uh, has it. Let's have a little look-see. Oh, by the way, any others to 10? No. But we are close with Mio and Tyon. All right, there he is. Mm. Well, we were on an attacker, so it's more of a lateral move to make her now a full metal jaguar. I'll hit him, and then I'm gonna hit him again. So we can get this to level ten, and then we see how much the rest have improved. Cause so far, the newer ones are really show slow. To gain some traction, that's one of the reasons why Lance is still his class. Just so we can at least unlock one uh, other person that has it, and then that with that increase the potency even more. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do. And with uh, this class, the Guardian Commander is going even so 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 much lower. But once we uh, have a secondary class and uh, we can use those to increase it even more with others then we can put Zion back in the party increasing the gain hopefully even more and slowly unlocking all those classes because in the end we want to unlock everything and try to max it as much as we can and the one based upon the forms that we see here that I'm most interested in this one looks weird I like it <laughs> But yeah, all right, so uh, we still have a bit of time left. So we start opening the other one as well. 
I'm guessing... Just from here would be the fastest, or from here? Uh, I don't think it really matters. As long as we make a direct path to the question mark, we should see it. Huh. And I do wonder if you have like these off the beat uh, heroes. If you come across another huh. hero that uh, the other hero knows, will there be some kind of interaction? I know it would be far fetched, but I, I like the idea of it. Just like with Grey uh, telling us that. Uh, he is uh, going by a friend, and then suddenly another hero we come across is actually that friend. Would be cool. Hmm. And then very curious to see what kind of level this hero quest is. Look. Oh, Mimi. That's Kyrie from Colony Gamma. What? Friend of yours? Yes, but the story will have to wait. Okay. Let's give her a hand. Going beyond power. Yeah, I'm not gonna prioritize the target because uh, this is super hard. So just by focusing myself on this one, the rest can take care of uh, <laughs> the rest surrounding me. And in turn, we'll have them down just as quick. to get so excited. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, calm down. Deep breaths. What are you doing here, Kyrie? Colony Gamma's... Oh, well, actually... You got separated from your unit again. <laughs> again? Alright, I can already start seeing what kind of character this is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just have no sense of direction at all. Never change, Kyrie. She's... Interesting, isn't she? Interesting, a pain in the neck. Same difference, I suppose. So, Mio, those other people... Don't worry about them. They're my friends, and they helped save you. Ah, so they did. Thanks again, Mio. Why thanks, Mio? Well, the rest of us are mistake. Leave it. That's just Kyrie. Mio, let's hurry back to the colony. I bet the commander will be pleased to see you too. Yeah, about that. Can I have a quick word? Of course. What about? <laughs> oh, maybe she's been so long away from the colony that she doesn't even know about us and our wars. This is an odd question, but... Well, how do we look to you? Oh. How do you look? Well, let me see. Hmm? Yep, no good at all. You can't just change your clothes as you please, that's against regulations. Hmm, well they suit you so perfectly. I mean, your officer outfit suited you to a T as well, but I mean... <laughs> Thanks, Kyrie. That's all I needed. Happy to help. 
I just need to discuss something with everyone. Mind waiting? No problem. She seems in her right mind anyway. No glowing iris. Just classic Kyrie. So that just means that the colony has not been triggered yet to hunt us down. But if we take her back to the colony, that might happen. But on the other side, we might uh, get a colony to our side from the other <laughs> party. Because right now the threat level is more on the Kavna side than anything else. <laughs> but does this mean we don't look like hostiles to everyone? Let's not worry about that for now. What should we do with her? That's the question. I want to take her back to the colony if we can. But can we? We can't send her out on her own. It's dangerous, and she'd definitely get lost again. Fine with me, but would she be okay hanging out with us Kevesi? It's possible that the commander of Colony Gamma would hear us out. At least, he isn't the type to turn around and capture people without warning. Can we trust him? Better than the Consul. Trust me on that. If both of you are willing to go that far, then he seems worth meeting. Thank you. If anything happens, I'll do everything I can to keep you all safe, I promise. Oh, we know that by now. Thanks for waiting. Let's go, Kyrie. Ready, Mio? Good to add more names. Alright. I'm guessing uh, we're going to a new colony. More colonies added. Oh, and I'm, like I said before, I am so hoping that once we get there... This one's got character. Shall we tango? Mm. Shall we? Keep it's just level 9, the... so None it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, draining a lot. Don't worry, it was just to uh, scratch you off the list. It's nothing personal. Ooh, ether. I'll claim the ether here. Never mind a good uh, spot of ether. I don't want to do this. Nope, I do not. We'll but you are literally in the way. <laughs> It just doesn't feel right to, to attack an enemy with such a big difference between us. Come after me, and that's what you get. If only you didn't charge off on your own. All right, let's see. That seems to go all the way around, doesn't it? Is it a place we've already been to, or not? So keep in mind that we have these. Okay, so it's still actually pretty far off. Want to get at least a little bit closer if we can. Oh, it's not bad that uh, this uh, hero quest is at least uh, allowing us to explore a new area. On a level that is a little bit closer to us, so much more interesting to fight the enemies here. Because that means new monster drops and like potentially new collections uh, to gather. And with that said, also new bodies to send off. Every day is a training day. Well, at least uh, get to ooh container. Come on, should be able to get up there. 
Or do we need some anti uh, sand uh, boots? I'm, I am saying that jokingly, but who knows? There might be something like anti uh, snow boots, as uh, sand boots, that will not allow us to slip down. God, that would be a very useful tool in a certain parts we can already get to right now. Oh, I think there's the first signs. Hmm, it feels more like a permanent base other than uh, a colony. Because usual colonies move, don't they? That's a very cool looking one. Reminds me of one I saw in a trailer. Mm hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave the episode here. It's a bit on the shorter side, but I think once we go into the colony itself, we're gonna get a lot of scenes and possibly a couple of fights that will uh, inflate the episode more than I can handle right now because as always I'm using my break time at work so let's continue it next time for now I wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe I'll be back next time as we're gonna go inside this colony check out if uh, the guy is actually as trustworthy as they make him out to be and of course once we complete this hero uh, quest we have one more left the DLC hero quest which is on a range of level so after this one we can go do that one that one as well meaning that uh, it will inflate all our potential um, classes from uh, two which I'm working on right now to five which is uh, a nice increase it means we have options also means that we're probably gonna be stuck for a while with uh, trying to learn those new classes. I'm hoping that one of the two, like this one or the DLC one, is a healer. Because that means that maybe we get an attacker and healer and a defender again. Make it a little bit easier to switch around and start learning those classes with everyone. But uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Next time, like I said, let's continue. Until then, bye bye.